All right, guys, if you follow my Instagram, you may have seen a few days ago, for the first time ever, I rode a motorcycle, more specifically, a Harley. Yeah. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> now I grew up riding dirt bikes. I grew up riding motocross. I grew up going to the desert and rode on two wheels a lot. I've always stayed off of motorcycles on the street. I've always like, I'm gonna keep that to the dirt and I just kind of wanted to stay away from driving motorcycles on the street. But when I hopped on that I Harley, hop, I, I, it I, I, up, no. sizzling my balls that I could not decline. So now I'm going to get one myself. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> I rode a Harley and I was like, wow, you know, this is, this is a lot of fun. It's not as scary as I thought. So like this morning we had a little bit of free time and I said, hey, why don't we go down to the uh, San Diego Harley Davidson dealership and just check some stuff out for fun. A little bit of looky-loo. So that's what we're doing this morning. I have Sabrina with me and I think Sean and Nate, who are the Harleys that I drove, Sean and Nate are meeting us there because they have today off from work. Let's just see where today goes. I want everyone to know, Sean right here is the influence as to why I'm here. Dude. <laughs> and Nate. Look, mm, yeah, and, and Nate. Dude, the blues fire. That's what I said. For those that are into Harleys, uh, I'm very, very basic, so I'll probably say a bunch of stuff that won't make sense. Street Bob 114 is what I'm looking at. Just a little cruiser bike, nothing too crazy. This will be my first. Well, I, I'm looking today. I'm not buying. I'm looking. You're buying. No, I'm looking. You're buying. No, He's I'm buying. for sure looking. For sure. The blues buying. sick. These are brand new. I don't know how much. This is the one that I was talking about. 21 cheese! The gray and the black. It's fire. Dude, that's a lot. It's a little out of my budget. How much was the one that was? You can buy the same bike used here. I saw for like 16 grand. Sit on it. I want to see you sit on it. This reminds me of like Miami Blue from Porsche. Ooh. See how much different it feels though than my bike? Yeah, it's a lot different. Like lift it up. It's a lot shorter. Oh, so heavy, dude. No, it's not. I mean. It's not a dirt bike. Dang, it's not a look, look at this boy. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I found a street bob in green, khaki green. I kind of like it. <laughs> Says he's not buying a bike. Comes around the corner. The man is sitting down at a table with paperwork being handed to him. Lord help me. We're gonna look at the Harley Davidson merch while we're at it. So, I like, so with the purchase of every bike <laughs> <laughs> comes with. I feel like you're okay, very young. I'm just looking. I haven't made any. Really? Because I saw him handing you paperwork. Damn. I saw. I saw a Manila Jeez. folder. Use the chaps, though, man. <laughs> the chaps. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Hey, miss, you listen here. You stay away from me oh my, and I'm my scared. boys. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> this hog ain't for you, sis. Pack it up. Oh, my God. Don't make me say it twice now. Get on. Oh. Skedaddle. Why don't you get on back of my old bike there and let me show you a fun time now. Oh, he wants to show you a fun time. Come on, sweet cheeks. Get on that little pee pad back there. Let me show you what she's capable of. Pee pad. Stands for pee pad. Oh. oh. That's what it's called. You learn something new every day. Careful. I kind of like it, dude. Let me pull up to the bar. <laughs> I'm just looking. kind of like it, dude. What was that manila folder there, then? It's my tax returns. Oh, you're right. It's my right. accountant. Yeah, from Harley. It's my accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> So it's official. Is it this one? My wow. dad's gonna kill me. Your dad's gonna kill me. My you. dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> this is a huge moment. I told myself I would never do this. I said I would never do this. You told me you would never do this. Oh, the jam. I feel great. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Albert. Traditional banks suck. They have terrible communication. There's always hidden fees. Dealing with someone over the phone that clearly doesn't want to talk to you is never entertaining. 
and it just doesn't feel right. Albert is completely different than any other bank account that you've ever used. Their mobile app is tailored to those like you and I. It's tailored towards those who are on their phone often and actually has a good software development on the phone and they help you save money. Albert can look at things like your income and expenses to see where you can save even if it's just a few bucks a month. Their cashback feature is one of the best programs that they have. You can get up to 5 to 20% cashback at some of your favorite merchants like McDonald's, Subway, Chick-fil-A, things like that. All you have to do is swipe the card at that merchant and you'll see the cash go right back into your account. They also have a genius feature which is arguably one of the best features that they offer. We all at one point in life aren't the best with planning money and managing finances. It's extremely stressful but with Albert their team of financial experts as they refer to as geniuses will look at your financial situation and answer any questions you may have about making financially smart moves. And for a limited time when you open an account and connect it with a qualifying direct deposit you'll get 150 bucks in your account. Albert is the answer for a lot of you out there you just don't know it yet. Take advantage of this help and download the app to your phone by clicking the links down below in the description. Thank you Albert for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. Because this is my first Harley, I get a walk around of all the features on the bike. Where are we gonna begin? Front of the bike, always, dude. Always. So Street Pop 114, Milwaukee 8 engine. You're gonna love it. You get single disc Brembo brakes. Brembo, really? Yeah, buddy. Is we, it branded on there? So all of our brakes are Brembo. We have an exclusive uh, Damn. contract with them, so we can put our branding okay, on. Okay, that's cool. Obviously drilled and slotted, reason being is you get less fade when you're braking. This bike comes passenger pegs right at the gat. That's for Sabrina. That's Check for it out. Sabrina. Sheesh. Also for Sabrina, you get the double up saddle and seat. Yeah, so the bike came with uh, an aftermarket seat, which is great. Yeah. So one of the first things I wanted to do was get a nicer seat. So we already kind of got that with the bike. Yeah. You get the sissy bar too for Sabrina as also well. Also for Sabrina. I was hyped because I wanted to yeah. get that additional for Sprinter, so the fact that this had it, had it already, I was pretty pretty stoked on that. These are going to come right off, obviously, EPA regulated California pipes, going to rip those off once he's good and ready. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> those are not going to last long. Digital gas gauge, heads up display right here, everything you need to know, put this guy on. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All the dash is all right here, so no analog, it's all digital, which is pretty rad. And I think through here you can cycle through the menu and you can show RPM, mileage, miles empty, time, I don't know, pretty sweet. Yeah, and last of the not least, Daymaker headlight, right? Keep you safe on the road. Headlight is dope. Yeah, buddy. So this is a 2021. Yes, so when sir. did the when did they get like the cool like Day, oh, the, the daytime light? I'm yeah. not sure when that actually came out. It's pretty rad. Yeah, I dig that a lot. And obviously, mini apes come standard with the bike. Mini ape hangers. Probably gonna get a T bar soon, but it works. And then what's also really cool is like if I don't have a key to start it, there's also like a pin code you can enter somehow. Yeah. So if you forget the key or you just you lose it or whatever, you can still turn on the bike with no key, which is pretty rad. And last thing aftermarket is your derby cover. You got a little Willie G, a little oh. Willie G action. Yeah, Sweet, buddy. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. And then all Harley's new pigtail for your trickle charger. Right? That's it's, pretty that rad. That way you don't have to take the bike apart. Just yeah. Charge it. There you go. Congrats Sweet, on the dude. New bike. I'm hyped. She's pretty. Wow, I can't believe. I was supposed to be looking today, but apparently. <laughs> looking turns into buying. I'm really stoked for this thing. Thing is sweet, bro. Oh my gosh, she's a Harley boy now. How do you feel about this? I don't know how I feel about it, honestly, at really? all. This is like kind of scary. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm <laughs> so careful, excited. Be careful, be careful. I will be. You'll be right behind me. All right, let's go get some food. We'll be right behind. I'm taking you guys with me so I can get you some shots of these hooligans on their bikes. Going to get some food. Oh man. Please be safe, boys. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Who would have ever thought that on this channel you'd see me holding the camera behind TJ on a Harley Davidson? Not me, I wouldn't have thought. And I'm sure none of you guys would have either. Oh, is this how boys come to a stop when they're on their bikes? It is so much different than a car. <laughs> like, were you scared? No, 
I mean, you just have such a different perspective on the road when you're on a motorcycle. Really? Like, I can't wait for you to get on the back Oh, no, 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 I'm scared. We're I'm here. Scared. No, I'm scared. To get you a helmet. DJ's gonna force me to get on the back of this thing. No, I'm not gonna force you. He's him. gonna force not, I would never force you. I would never force you. I would he's never. Not, he's not, okay, he's not gonna force me, but I'm gonna get on the back you, of this thing against my own will. And I need a bike, or I need a helmet in order to do so, so. Do, I, do I look like a man? You look like a man. You hear that, guys? <laughs> oh, man. You hear that, girls? All you need is for your boy to get a bike, and then he'll be a man. Wow. Never ever have I. Wow, look at this gang. Yeah. <laughs> New love and appreciation for Harleys. It's really, it's really cool. I really like it. It's a cool alternative. TJ, where's your helmet? It's right there on the back. I'm on the back of my hog. I'm never gonna call it a bike. It's always my hog. All right, we're here test fitting helmets, and this is the helmet Sabrina said she wanted to try on. Dude, this is freaking <laughs> sick. Yeah, I kind of like it. How much is it? I don't, don't know. worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's no price on it. I wonder why. Don't worry about it. Oh, because it, that's kind of. Do you like that, dude? You're gonna have a nicer bucket than me, dude. I'm getting a head socket right now. A head socket. A head sock? Um, a head sock right now, so I don't get my makeup all over this in case I don't want to buy it. I look great. She's got the head condom and everything. I look great. You look fantastic. A large. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 relax, relax. Help! All right, the head sock kind of screwed you there. Hey. Let, let me see it. No, no, I need to shake. I need to shake it on you. Let me see if it fits you. Oh, it's it fits. Oh, it is. It's not doesn't squeeze you too much, right? Oh, it kind of squeezes me a lot. Do you think they make these things in XO? For sure, but you don't really. You want it to be snug on you. Yeah, you need it. This is pretty sick. <laughs> I like it. What an outfit. Rabbit helmet with rabies and a tennis skirt. <laughs> nice. Fuck Sabrina's yeah. got a new helmet. I, I would vlog with you guys, but I, hey, I'm not, I, was I can't really you. vlog. I was vlogging you on the road. I appreciate it. And I need, then I, I, ended up, like a, I ended up going the wrong direction. I, was I need to get like a GoPro helmet or something like that. So I'm, Sabrina, I'm gonna pass you the vlog. I'll see you at lunch. Okay. Can you put that in your car? Let me take the boys. You want help in the trunk? Oh, this won't fit in the trunk. This has to go in the front seat. Um, can you take my hoodie? Yep. Put it all in, ladies. Man, the Macan would be coming in handy right now. Can't have anything with you on a motorcycle. Got to my Cannot hat. have anything with you. All right, see you at best, boys. Have a nice ride, brother. Be safe. How was the second ride, Dude, brother? Dude, I f***ing love it, You're man. Kidding. You're kidding. He loves it. He loves I it. love it. So he's going to start taking it everywhere. No. This is, what, this is exactly yo, what Nate's going to happen. What I need, though, is I need an exhaust bat. The thing is, like, so quiet I can't even hear it. And oh, I always hate, okay, like, loud Harleys. But driving by me on the freeway, but I'm like, dude, having that noise, like, oh, it gives me security people. that someone knows I'm there. <laughs> yeah, but dude, <laughs> I, you can I, see really, it on your I have no idea what, how you guys will feel about this, or if you guys are even gonna want Harley content. I'm not even expecting it. This isn't turning into a motorcycle channel, but it's like a cool, uh, it's a, it has a motor and it has wheels. I'm into it, baby. <laughs> it is so fun. One, I can't wait to put you on the back. No. One to 10 though. How was it? One to 10. 10, dude, 10 out of 10. It, 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 would, it would only, I would only like be even, it'd be like 11 out of 10 if I had a pipe on it. Like if it had a pipe and I was like, blah, blah, blah. It sucks in the sewer, right? Yes, sir, baby, about that time of day. Little FTV for the boys. Also, I've been seeing a lot of comments. They're like, teach, don't forget to put the TE 37 stickers on. I haven't forgotten, I promise. I just haven't done it yet. It will be done soon. Dude, I'm, I'm just like kind of falling in love with this thing. Okay, so I don't know Harleys. Obviously, Sean ain't know Harleys way more than me. But here's my like mod list. I said I wouldn't mod it. Here's my mod list that I want to do for you guys. If any of you guys ride Harleys or any of you have a street bob, leave comments down below or what are some things that I should do to this bike or what are like, I don't know, common things that you know, a Harley owner should do. Let me know. I'm, I'm a freshie, I'm a newbie. But I want to get a license plate relocation. Whether it goes to the back, I don't really know yet. I don't really know how I feel about the red lights. It kind of stands out to me. A sissy bar, it's for Sabrina. I assume it's an easy detachable mod, so I don't really love the look of it on, but it's removable. Need a new exhaust, gotta figure that out. Switch the pegs out. I don't really know how I feel about this like fork cover. Growing up in like motocross world, if you have like fork covers on your bike and then you have like a trail bike and not like a race bike, it's a silly thing. But so like when I see it in today's age, I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't associate it. I don't really like it. I kind of want to get rid of these yellow turn signals. Maybe like I smoke them out or like something that I really bothers me is that maybe some Harleys have this, maybe others don't, I don't quite know. But I want things to be like LED. I have like an LED headlight right here and like why are there not matching LED circle lights right here? It needs that. So if there's like a mod for that, or someone knows a company that does that, let me know. These little bulbs are just so outdated. So it needs the same thing in the back. If the brake lights could be LED like that. I think it'd be fire. And I think that's pretty much it. I was debating about going to SOS and having them do a custom Hunco little 
paint job, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Very, very fun. I wish I recorded like a couple days ago when I drove. I drove Nate's Harley first. Give me a Harley check, brother. A Harley check? Give me a Harley check. Uh, Sorry, Sabrina's car is idling in the background. She's doing something. I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing, she's doing something. Has ever checked me? Give me, Har give me a Harley check. Uh, 04 Dyna Lowrider, uh, 88 twin cam. I've got upgraded shocks, saddleman seat, and then I just did the bars and risers. So these are thrashing bars with the Dynamite Crew risers, eight inch pullbacks, and then mid band aggressive bars. So there's like zero degrees on the, uh, I forget what this is called. Sean? It's like that front to back swing. I forget what it's called. Uh, Ackerman? No. no, 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 no. That's, that's, no, a, that's a drift I, term. Yeah, yeah. Let me do my Anyways, whatever. Sure. Um, the grips, got the Vans Colt grips. Those are Vans. Moon's MC. Whoa, they are yeah. Vans, Trez. The black. I like, I need those. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> black levers. I forgot the black mirrors, so coming soon. But yeah, the that's shocks? the bike. Damn. Damn. We, uh, we, he said, you see, he yeah. did the shocks. Oh, you got a pipe, too. Uh, yeah, Vans and Hines. Slip-ons. Slip Nothing too special. Some nice snap crackle pops, but nothing crazy. Actually watching you talk about yours, I want black levers, and I also need a new set of bars too. Yeah, we actually both need the, Sean has these on his bike. These black out, get rid of the orange. Oh, his is LED. Yeah. They're fucking broken though. They're broken? Oh, that's always we good. We got a bike check, good, ready? I didn't ask so, you yet. I didn't. I no. I, I didn't ask you. Bike check. Right, are you done? Uh, I think that's everything on my bike. I mean, uh, to to extend all of this stuff, it was kind of a pain. We actually extended the wires, uh, blinker wires, the brake cable, the clutch cable, the throttle and idle cable. It was kind of a pain. It was a lot of work, but we we did it. And I'm stoked. Yeah. Working sweet. on my own stuff. Nate's first ever bike check. Bike check. What do you got? Right, so I got. <laughs> Bike to, I don't, even is this that? is it, dude. This is Someone my bike. sent it to us uh, like two years ago. No, no, no. This is a serious bike check. Oh, I'm so okay. sorry. This is a 1975 wow. Harley Davidson. Dude, this thing rips. We got the upgraded bars, quarter tube throttle, some black levers. It's all blocked out. Yo, you got the. Dude, you have an LED dude, headlight? You got the LED headlight. The horn. <laughs> right in my ear. Thank you. Right in my ear, dude. With the Hun Co sticker on the back. It's a, it's, a good, it's a good look. This is my horse. This is my hog. All right, real bike check. Give me a real bike check. So I drove Nate's first. I was like, yo, that was dope. And then Sean was like, okay, you can handle that. Go ride mine. And then I rode Sean. Then I rode Sean's. So I was like, damn. All right, I need one. Give us a bike check. Oh, now I see how much taller your rear setup is. Yours is really raised. Now that like I'm looking at mine, I look at this, I see the difference. Mine's basically the same thing as Nate's. It's 2017. It's newer, but it's a Dyna. 2017 Street Bob. Same thing as TJ's. Street Bob is considered, they're both the same thing, but his is a soft tail, this is a hard tail. So What's the difference between a soft tail and a hard tail? Soft tail is a mono shock, so it's under the seat, there's one shock, and then on the Dyna, there's two. For a Dyna, you have two exterior shocks, and a soft tail, you have a single shock, which if you guys are familiar with like dirt bike setups, same. dirt bikes is like the same setup. Interesting. I basically bought this bike like this. I didn't really do much. <clears throat> Mine has a San Diego custom seat. You have the filter. Yeah, get off the squeak machine, dude. <laughs> dude, you have real. an exhaust. You have yeah, pegs. Sean's you got, have a Sean's rear got peg. All the he nitties. has shocks. He has an air filter. You have headlight mod. You have way more th stuff. Yeah, but I bought it like this, so it doesn't really count. It doesn't. It's, I didn't. It's a. It's a. It's, it's a right, check. Right, it's a check. check. Okay, we got the Bassani two to one exhaust. This is Bassani Road Rage three. This is a RSD air filter or air cleaner. So it has a tune on it. Usually when you get a Harley, you want to do like a tune and then you buy the air cleaner and the exhaust at the same time. And we got the flow pegs. These are like, if anybody rides dirt bikes, this is what you want. Makes it more, feel more like a dirt bike. And it's a 103 V-twin engine. So it's the same thing as Nate's, just a couple motors bigger. There's 88, 96, 103, and then they stopped the V-twin and did TJ's bike, which is Milwaukee. Milwaukee 114. Don't forget it, baby. We got the big old T-bars. Some T bars. I got the LEDs, but they're totally chashed and broken. Oh, oh, this one's got. I didn't know what you meant, but now we got like six over here. Oh yeah, I didn't realize they're that kinda, before. Yeah, they're a little beat. <laughs> we got a headlight too. The headlight's Harley, cool. Harley Davidson headlight. I think that's it. Honestly, yeah. and my shocks. shocks. Clean. I like how it's all black. It's a good look. And I got this little thing. This is technically an upgrade. Oh, the license plate on the back? Yeah, because usually they come like yours, so your yeah. license plate sticks over here. It's this, clean. This like makes, and then it has the your blinkers and your brake light and a little. So I've decided too that this Harley is gonna live. I think it's gonna live like right here. I think. 
When they built this garage, they built it with a lot of extra room. There's like a sink and cabinets and all that type of stuff. But I've always wondered, I'm like, what is this little area for? Cause it's like almost a half spot, but it's not a spot. You obviously can't put a car here. I think today I finally figured out, it's like a motorcycle. I forgot the Sprinter was even over there. To get the Harley in there, I'm gonna have to move the Supra. And it, oh man, it feels weird. I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been cheating on these cars all day. Like I'm all like hyped on the motorcycle. I'm, it's so weird. I swear today was just about looking and it ended up turning into buying. If you guys want to see some Harley content, leave a comment down below. I really don't know how you guys are going to react. I feel like some of you guys are going to be super on board with the motorcycle Harley content. And I feel like the other half of you guys just won't really care. So if you are of the side that does want to see it, if I hear enough of you guys down below, I will keep you updated throughout my Harley Davidson experience and ownership. I really just don't know how many of you guys will be into that. So I'll be curious to see what you guys have to say down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.